Hey everyone, welcome to how to test a polar equation for symmetry. And so the idea behind this is that if we can show that a polar equation has some type of symmetry, it's going to be easier or it could be easier to graph the function. Okay, so there are three types of symmetry. And we're going to go ahead and go through each one of them. Okay, so the first one is symmetry with respect to the polar axis. So this is x-axis symmetry. And the idea here is if you replace theta with the opposite or negative theta, if you get the same equation, then you know that the graph is symmetric with respect to the polar axis. And it would look like this. So if you had r theta and you took the opposite of theta, it would look down here. So it's symmetric with the polar axis here, okay, or the x-axis, so it's just a reflection over the x-axis essentially, okay? So that's the first type, symmetry with the polar axes. Our second one is symmetry with respect to theta equals pi over 2, the vertical line, and so that's y-axis symmetry. So the first one is x-axis or polar axis symmetry, the second one is y-axis symmetry. Now in this case you're replacing both r and theta with the opposite of r and the opposite of theta. If an equivalent equation results, the graph is symmetric with respect to the theta equals pi over 2 line, and it would look like this. It's a reflection. Notice how it's positive r and theta here, negative r, negative theta here. It's a reflection over the pi over 2 line. Okay, so that's the second type of symmetry. The third type is pole symmetry or symmetry about the origin. This is you're only going to replace r with negative r, and if an equivalent equation results, the graph is symmetric with respect to the pole. Meaning, if you have r and theta, remember that if you have negative r just going back this way here, same angle, okay, but back this way to negative r theta, okay, so that's pole axis uh, 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 symmetry about the pole or the origin. So let's look at an example. Um, does the polar equation r equals 4 sine of 2 theta have polar axis line theta equals pi over 2 uh, symmetry or pole symmetry? It could have none, but we're going to test this out. So let's look at this example. So I've, I've kind of just created um, a little table here of three things. So I have the polar axis. Okay, so I have my equation. Let's go ahead and write this on top. 4 sine of 2 theta. And in the coming videos, you're going to see actually how to graph this one, okay? So let's look at polar axis symmetry. And so let's look at it here. And remember, with pole axis symmetry, we're going to replace theta with negative theta. Okay, so I'm going to write my equation, and I'm going to have r equals 4 sine of 2 theta. Okay, there's my equation. And now where there's theta, I'm going to plug in negative theta. So we're going to have r equals 4 sine of 2 times negative theta. So I switch that out. Okay. And that just results in r equals 4 sine of negative 2 theta. Okay. And I can simplify that a little further and have negative 4 sine of 2 theta. Now, does that look the same as the original? This does not equal 4 sine of 2 theta. They're different, okay? So we don't have polar axis, oops, we don't have polar axis symmetry here. Now let's look at the line theta equals pi over 2. So now we're going to replace r comma theta with negative r, negative theta. Let's see what we get. Let's write our equation, r equals 4 sine of 2 theta. So now we're going to have negative r equals 4 sine of 2 times negative theta. I've switched both values. Okay, I guess I can put that there in parentheses. Okay, and now I can simplify that as negative r equals negative 4 sine of 2 theta. We know that because of the last example right there. Well, when you have two negatives here, we can go ahead and rewrite this as just r equals 4 sine of 2 theta, and that's by dividing each side. Okay, And notice how this 
is equal to the original up here. Those are the same. Now, since those are the same, we don't have a change, so we know this is going to have symmetry with respect to theta equals pi over 2. So meaning you could graph the, the, the points if it's in the first quadrant there, okay, um, and then reflect it over the pi over 2 line, and you get the same result. Okay, let's just do the last one just, just to, for practice here. We already know it's got this symmetry, so let's replace, okay, we're going to replace r with negative r. Okay, so this one's pretty easy. We just write the equation. Okay, so r equals 4 sine of 2 theta. Okay, just replace r with negative r. I'll do that in a different color again. So there's negative r equals 4 sine of 2 theta. Solving for r here, divide each side by negative 1, I get negative 4 sine of 2 theta. That does not equal the original. Okay? Therefore, this one does not have pole symmetry. So if you have any questions or comments, you can type them below. We'll see you next time.